So that's my daughter playing with Cisco, our German Shepherd. And uh, I know a lot of people asking, are... Uh... Daddy? Yes, I teleported into the garage. Um, <clears throat> no, what I was saying before I got my daughter kind of interrupted, um, a lot of people have been asking, you know, are working line German Shepherds good as house pets around little kids? And... As you just saw, yes, they are. Um, the best way that you can know that your working line shepherd isn't going to hurt your kids is if you play with them for about an hour to two hours before you let your kids play with them because then they get really, really tired. Um, see, my uh, shepherd, he's six months old, so he's still a pup. And... Uh, <clears throat> As a pup, he's going to want to play. He doesn't know his own strength yet. And he likes to kind of like push his body weight onto you and let you pet him. But him being so big, um, yeah, it could potentially hurt like a little small child. Um, but my daughter's seven. Um, my son's five. And he does really, really well with them. As long as you, I have to play with him, you know, for an hour or two hours at a time before I allow him to, you know, play with my kids. That way, he's already played, he's already tired, you know, and he's more <clears throat> gentle, per se, um, and he's not as active, he doesn't want to, uh, you know, jump all over you and stuff like that. <clears throat> so for some of you guys that are wanting to get a working line shepherd, that is the best way to do it. Um, preferably get a working line German Shepherd while they're a puppy. And I mean like a small puppy, like maybe six, maybe like six weeks old or as soon as you can possibly get one. That way they are familiar with you and your family. Um, if you get one like right out of the box, like, I don't know, five months old, Four months old it's a little a little bit of a hassle because they're already in that puppy state you're like a new figure to them and um, <clears throat> they're gonna test you they're gonna test your limits and if you do not have uh, a lot of time working line shepherds are the worst well I don't want to say the worst but they're one of the worst dogs to have if you don't <clears throat> have time to devote to them, okay? The working line shepherds are very high prey driven dogs. And that's why the military use them. Um, and that's why the police forces use them. It's specifically for that drive. Anything that runs, um, <laughs> they're going to chase them, you know? Whether if it's a toy, whether if it's a child, or anything like that, if you know they're just designed that way to be high prey driven to you know chase after whatever they're supposed to be chasing or what they think they're supposed to be chasing. I still have issues with Cisco. Um, like I said, he's six months old, and my daughter likes to ride her scooter, and when she likes to ride her scooter, you know he sees it as oh it's a game. I'm gonna chase after her. And he's a big boy. My daughter, um, she's been plowed down one time. My son, uh, he, my son is more mischievous. You know, he's a boy. So as a boy, boys do things that, um, I don't want to say out of the norm because it doesn't make sense. But I mean, my son likes to try and get in trouble. <laughs> 
he's a good boy, but he likes to try and get in trouble sometimes, you know, just for the hell of it. And uh, I got to watch him when he's around Cisco because he likes to grab Cisco's ears. And I'm pretty sure, you know, whoever's watching this, you wouldn't want your ear being tugged on. You know what I mean? <clears throat> My son's five years old, so I mean, it's not like an infant tugging on a, a dog's ear. It's a five and a half year old boy tugging on your ear. That shit hurts. <laughs> oh, and I'm going to show you another thing. This is what happens when you're gone. See, uh, if your dog isn't highly, highly trained. See, my dog's, he's not highly trained, okay? Don't get me wrong. But... He's crate trained for up to 10 hours. And what that means is he can be inside his crate for 10 hours straight without having to go to the bathroom. Okay. And then as soon as I get home, I let him out. He does his thing. But they like to tear things up. And I'm going to prove this to you. All right. Because this is something that I got to clean today. I bought him some pillows. Now, pillows with shepherds, well, mainly working line shepherds and probably huskies and so forth. They like to tear shit up. This is what Cisco has done to his pillow and some of his blankets. So I have to, I'm constantly buying him new pillows and blankets and stuff like that. This is what he did to his, his, his pillow. Okay. He shredded three pillows that he had. He shredded about four different blankets. Okay. He used to shred <laughs> uh, shoes, but he doesn't do that no more. I got him to stop doing that, so he, won't, he doesn't do that anymore. But on the same page, this is what you're going to have to deal with, all right? You get him a, a pillow, he's going to shred it. You get him a blanket, he's going to shred it, you know? But this is his crate, and he's... Destroyed it. <laughs> but like I said, you got to have a lot of patience when you're dealing with high prey driven dogs and working line shepherds. Um, that's all I've ever owned is working line shepherds. So, I mean, you're going to have to deal with shit like this. You can't get mad at them. But when you're gone, it's almost like he has a mentality of a child. Which is like closely related to <clears throat> pits. Pits have a mentality of a child. It's not like a dog state of mind. And it's hard to describe it unless you own a pit. Then you, you're going to know that pits have this mentality of a child. They're very, very loving and caring. But really don't know how heavy they are or how strong they are. And Cisco gets very upset when he sees his daddy having to leave to go to work. And he's gone for eight hours. So this is what he does to retaliate. He tears his shit up. So you can't get mad. I mean, he's just, that's his way of showing affection. Like, I don't want you to leave. I want you to stay here. I want you to play with me. I want you to pet me. I want you to show affection to me. And it doesn't matter how much affection you show to him. He still acts like he he's never had affection before. <laughs> so he gets overly excited and... You know, tear shit up and, but he, I, I love him to death. I would not trade him for anything. Pitts and uh, Working Line German Shepherds are my two favorite animals or favorite dogs to have. And I would not change them for anything. I've had a Siberian Husky. It was a wolf mix. <clears throat> a lot of people say that they're escape artists. Uh, my Husky was not. He was like a damn cat. He would not come to you unless he wanted to come to you. And he just completely acted very stuck up. Now, every animal or every dog is different. I, I, I know that. But when I look for a dog, I look for specific features. And I look for um, perfect body structures and stuff like that. And, you know, temperament is the main thing that I look for. And focus and drive and that's why I went with a high prey driven working line shepherd pretty soon here hopefully 
I'm looking to get another pit. Um, so we'll see how well that works out because working line shepherds, they're more like you can only have one or you can have one with another working line shepherd. You can't have the mix unless they're you've had like a, a pit as a puppy and a working line shepherd as a puppy and they grew up together and that's a different thing. I mean, these two dogs, separate breeds, are very ter territorial. So, but I'm not a professional. I'm just speaking from experience. So I just take it for a grain of salt and uh, I act like I don't know shit. So if somebody knows anything else, let me know.